Hey guys, my name is Jacob. I'm a certified arborist at Omaha, Nebraska, and this little detail can be the difference between a strong tree and a tree that splits in a storm. This little detail I'm referring to is called a co-dominant stem. A co-dominant stem is when two or more stems, oftentimes originating from the same point, oftentimes of similar size and shape, shoot up and fight for structural dominance over the shape of your tree. When codominant stems do form very tight unions, they often produce something that is called included bark. Included bark is simply when bark starts to roll in on itself where this union has formed. Where you have included bark, instead of a strong connection growing between these two stems, you simply have a weak union that becomes much more likely to split. The best thing that you can do is catch this condition when it's young. When these stems become large, they become much bigger issues. If you don't have the luxury of having already caught this early in your tree's life, there are still some things that you can do. You can potentially prune or reduce one of those codominant stems. What this will typically do is reduce the amount of leverage that can be applied to that union during a storm event. Another option available to you might be cabling and bracing. Cabling and bracing is installing hardware in your tree to help your tree support itself and help reduce the chance of failure. So the next time that you're checking out your trees, if you see co-dominant stems with included bark, it might be a good idea to have them checked out. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more tree tips.